Let's look at how the Law of Sines helps us do a rather tricky case, the SSA case, side-side angle, or ASS case, if you want to get more hits on uh, your YouTube video. Um, and so here's the, here's the idea. I always think about it the same way, and I always actually, no matter what the letters are, I always draw it in this way with, um, in, with it kind of facing to the right. I'll explain in a minute. I think of this as the ground. That's level. I think of this as a fixed beam put in at a fixed angle. So B is known. In this case, it's uh, 7 centimeters. And um, this angle here at A, that's uh, it's this guy. It comes out, came, out, came out weird. It's 40 degrees. Those are fixed and known. So this is fixed beam planted in the ground. And then there's a swinging rod hanging from a hinge up here. And that also has a known length. It's a, fi it's a, a rod of fixed length, but the hinge lets it swing freely. And so that, in this case, in this example, is going to be four centimeters. Okay. And so the question is, can I make a triangle? And if so, how many? And how can I figure out what the triangle is? Well, I've started out with a particular case where the rod doesn't appear to be long enough to reach the ground. And in fact, it is not. If I swing it, the circle is just so that I can swing it and keep the length the same. You wouldn't usually draw the circle. I can't make it reach the ground. Well, how, do I, how am I sure of that? How could I make a calculation that would make me sure of that? The crucial thing is the height of this top of the fixed beam above the ground. Okay, so your first task is to calculate that height. Okay, now again, um, it's, you don't want to memorize this in terms of the letters. You want to think of the B, I'm going to say B here, but that is whichever is the playing the role of the beam. That's the side that's not opposite the angle. It's adjacent to the angle. So whatever that side is, times sine of the angle that's fixed, the one that's known. Okay, And that height is what I've got here, B sine A, in this case is 4.52 centimeters. And that's bigger than A. Okay, So the first case is quite simple. If a, that's the swinging one, that's the one that's opposite the angle. Again, the letter doesn't matter, whichever is opposite the angle it's given. If A is less than H, then there's no solution. You can't make a triangle out of this. Okay. Case two is pretty special. What if we increase A, make A a little longer until it's exactly the same as H? Uh, I guess I, uh, let me give, me, give us one more decimal place here. Yeah, so now it's just about exactly as long. Now I can swing that and it will just barely reach and it will be a right triangle. Okay, so if A equals H, then there's one solution. It's a right triangle and we just have to use right triangle trig to figure out the rest of it, like figuring out angle C is easy in that case. Let me bring it back. Figuring out angle C is easy. Figuring out this uh, distance is either just right triangle, sine, and cosine, or Pythagoras. That's a very easy case. Okay. Case three is the most interesting case. Case three is I'm going to just say for right now if A is greater than H, although we might have to modify that in a second. Okay. So don't stop the video too soon. If A is greater than H, okay, I'm going to make this circle bigger. If A is greater than H, then I can't put it straight down, but what I have to do is I have to kick it out to here. But is that the only solution? Do I have to kick it outward to make a triangle? No, I can kick it inward to make a triangle. Okay. So if I kick it out like this, let's say that for, for starters, how would we figure that out? Okay. So the first thing to say is that there are two solutions. And again, I'm going to change that in a second. And here, the law of signs is going to come into play. And I'll do the details in a minute. I'll probably do them in a, different, in a uh, further continuation of the video, actually. OK, so let's think about this. There will be two solutions. Uh, as long as I can put kick it out and kick it in. Well, what if I actually made this thing much bigger so that A is actually bigger than B? Okay, I can kick it instead of starting here and hey, oh, it's way under the ground. That's not what I have to do. The post is supposed to just barely touch the ground or the rod. Okay, I can kick it out, but now, oh, I can't kick it in because it won't fit. 
if I tried to kick it all the way back here, then this angle was supposed to be the interior angle of my triangle. I can make a triangle here, but with a different angle over here. So that's not usually allowed, okay? Because you really want this angle, this acute angle here, for example, here to be 40, okay? So that's um, important because so what this is saying is that if A is actually bigger than B, then there aren't two solutions anymore. So what the correct version of this is, if A is between B and H, it's bigger than the height, it's long enough to reach the ground, but not too long that it can't fit inside here, then there's two solutions. Case four is what I've got dis displayed here, and this it says if A is greater than B, then we're back to one solution. Okay, law of sines is still helpful here. Okay, but this case three, that this, this is the trickiest because we have to figure out how to get both those solutions and that's easy to forget to do in the first place and it's easy to miss exactly how to do it. Okay, now notice what I've drawn here. So far, I've got the picture where A was an acute angle. Okay, what if A is actually obtuse? Let me let me bring this back in here. Okay, and so let me actually bring take B over and make it obtuse. Okay. Now, how many solutions am I going to get? Okay. Here, if A is shorter than B, then I certainly can't reach. But as long as A is longer than B, then I'm going to be able to reach, and there's only one way to do it. I have to go off to the right. I can't swing any any other direction. Let's make it a bit longer. Yeah. Okay. So the really interesting case is, let me go back to this. So really what we're talking about is the first task, if A is acute, the given angle. It doesn't matter what the letter is. That's the interesting case. Calculate the height. Look at all these cases. Okay. If A is obtuse, it's, it's a simpler situation. Case one is where A is less than B, and then we're back to having no solution. It just can't, it just can't reach back. It has to reach over here for this obtuse angle to be inside the triangle, and it can't reach down, okay? And case two, if A is greater than B, we're gonna have, have one solution. And getting those solutions is gonna be the job of the law of signs, but that's gonna be in the continuation of this video.